<laughs> what's up everybody mikey mullen jigger fishing i'm with this guy today what's up what's up uh, technically we we're supposed to go out for halibut uh down the bay but the weather kind of turned the tide turned the fish bite kind of got off and then the uh sounds like it's pretty windy so we changed plans today we're out here at uh, lake berryessa if you saw the last video you saw jen caught a nice nice king so we're out here chasing the kings we're gonna see what happens but uh here we go all right we finally got out where we're gonna start we're just right outside the buoys five mile an hour zone here at uh, markley cove uh, but we're gonna start uh, we're gonna get down and get started we're gonna kind of head around the bend over here and there's the dam uh, sitting over there that goes out to Puta Creek. So don't know if we're going to troll to the dam, but we're going to be going that direction. Right here is, is what my setup is that I'm going to be using. Right here I got a 7 inch UV Wonder Bread double sided top coat flashers. And then also I got this rig here I tied up. I showed you, I think, I uh, believe I showed you in Jen's video when Jen caught hers. A little sliding hook with the treble on the bottom. So I'm going to put a hook and an anchovy on there. And then on this back rod here, I'm going to do the 7-inch uh, Wonder Bread double-sided glow. And then I got my little glow bug um, I use for kokanee, but I got... These ones are 2-inch. The kokanee ones I use are inch and a half, so it's a little bit bigger. But uh, caught lots of kings at Folsom on that rig. So I'm going to try here, and we'll go from there. Alright, we're all set up. Rusty's got his poles out over there. Got mine set out over here. We're trolling. All right, so it started raining. Got the top up. We're hunkered underneath. Waiting for something to bite. We both took days off for this trip, so we're fishing. We're fishing. That's right. All right, so kind of stopped raining for a minute, but action has really slowed down. Not that the salmon have been very active, but so right now we're going to be changing over to uh, Speedy Shiners. I'm going to use copper. I'm going to use this copper and red. He's going to put a couple on orange and copper. We're going to pick the speed up probably, I don't know, 2.3, 2.5, 2.7, somewhere in there. You can do these speedies pretty quick. So see if that maybe triggers something. You never know. We're about to find out. Alright, so here's what we're using. Just got our main line going to a little barrel swivel with a snap. About three foot of line. Straight to the speed shiner. Put a little juice on there, put a little stink on there, send it down. Anchovy super oil, put a little bit on the back. got one we just went through a big old bait ball look at that big old bait ball there's steer rusty's on what you got brother what you got yeah i'm gonna put this down to get the net See if I can net this thing one handed and see what we got. I seen the rods bump, dude. You got a trout or a king? Trout or king? Died. Slow whatever it is. Stop wanting to run. Dark, man. Can't see him. 
Oh, oh fast. fast. <laughs> oh, fast. Gosh darn it. Slow down. Let's see if we get a spurt. I slow down? Yeah? Fish on. Fish on. Oh. 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 It came off. Oh. Oh. On the speedy. On the big speedy too. Another bait ball. You can see some little bit of fish right behind it. Rusty just picked up one about 20 25 feet down with a little bass. Caught it right over off of that point. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Got some weight to him. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one. On the glow bug. Oh, it's a big old squawfish. Oh, it's a sea monster. Hang on. <laughs> Big old sea monster! <laughs> Holy cow, dude! Oh, that's a freaking toad! Oh, oh dang I it! I got it. Oh, that stinks! Darn it! <laughs> Big old sea monster! Gosh darn it! Got me another sea monster! Sea monster. Big old squawfish. These things eat a lot of stuff. These are actually pretty bad for the. I mean, I'm sure they're important for the environment, but. He's just a fish. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna let him go. There we go. Be gone. Dang, I thought that was a big old king. Dang it! He smashed it. About to go down. Oh, you're on. Got him? Oh, yeah. Rusty got one on. Got one on a night crawler. Yeah, baby. Come on. Might be a king. Let's do it. Feel good? See the bait ball we got? That's what we saw. So we just trolled through this little tiny bait ball right there. And uh, Rusty's right here. Rusty's rod went off. 
Let me get the net. It might be a, uh, let's hope it's not another sea monster. Could be a big old rainbow. We've got some nice rainbows in here. So far it's dark. I don't see, oh, it's dark, dude. Is it? No. Yep. Ooh, it looks dark. Yeah, it's definitely dark. Maybe a catfish? Big old bass. Ooh, that's a nice bass. Nice. Smally, I think. Nice. That's oh. a nice smally. <laughs> that's a beautiful bass. I think it's a smally. Oh yeah, I think it is. I'm not too familiar with them, but slammed it. All right. Nice. Caught on a night crawler. Yeah. Sweet. That's a toad. That's nice one, bro. Caught, dude. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. Absolutely. We called it though. He hit that bait. That bait ball. <laughs> Very nice, bro. <laughs> yeah, he slammed it. Tightened up. Gonna head back to the dock. Head to the house.